I know most of you guys are still struggling to generate photorealistic images with free AI tools and 70% of users are still using free AI tools to generate images. But the problem with these image generators is that we have to compromise on the results. But not anymore because in this video, I'm gonna show you a free AI image generator that can generate realistic human portraits and I'm also gonna share a magical prompt that will level up your images. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So the tool that we're gonna use today is called TensorArt, which is completely free to use. And here you can see we have different models that people have shared and we have the models for cartoons, we have the models for anime characters, photorealistic, fantasy art, and this is a complete list of models to generate any kind of images. But the model that we are gonna use is called Juggernaut Aftermath. Simply click on that and now run this model. So these are the few images that I generated while playing with this model. And on the left side, you can see we have multiple settings. So I'm gonna explain one by one. So first of all, we have to select the base model. So by default, we have selected Juggernaut Aftermath. And if you want to select any other model, you can also select that. And you also have the option to add LoRa models in it. And you can see we have a complete list of LoRa models. You can add any one of them if you want to, but I would like to keep it default. And you also have the option to add control that. But if you want to get the realistic results, I would prefer you to use the default settings. So next we have the option to enter our prompt and then we have the space to enter the negative prompt and we also have the image to image option so if you want to upload your reference image you also have that option and next we have aspect ratios so you can select portrait landscape square and you can even type your own custom size and then we have the sampling methods but i don't want to get into that because this is something complicated and then we have seed values so if you want to enter your own seed values you also have that option so let's try any prompt so let's say I'm gonna type beautiful woman with curly hairs, close up portrait realistic. And in the negative prompt, I'm gonna type no blur, ugly face, extra hands, extra eyes. And now let's generate. So these are the output images. And I would say this is not as realistic as we expected. We have some better results in terms of quality, in terms of skin texture, but we can say this is a photorealistic image, right? Because you can see a big difference in this image and in this image and to achieve the photorealistic results here comes our magical prompt and the prompt is a beautiful lady freckles big smile dark makeup hyper detailed photography head and shoulders portrait cover photo you can see i have added a bunch of keywords in it but this prompt is useless without our negative prompt so the negative prompt is worst quality low quality normal quality low details oversaturated undersaturated overexposed underexposed so this is a lengthy prompt with lot of details in it but don't worry about that i will leave the prompt in the description below so for now let's generate and let's see what it comes up with so these are the output results and just look at this how realistic this image is just look at the skin texture hair texture freckles on the face eyebrows each and everything is looking spot on so this one is the second image and this one is also a really good image in terms of quality, in terms of skin texture. And now we can say this is a photorealistic image. So we can also make changes with this prompt to get some different results. So let's say I'm gonna type sitting in a coffee shop and our negative prompt will be same. So let's see what it comes up with. So these are the output results and now she is sitting in a coffee shop. You can see a background is separated, skin textures everything is spot on and this one is the second image and this one is also a really really good image and i strongly believe that none of the free AI image generators can achieve this kind of photorealistic results so we can also play around with different seed values so i'm gonna type any random seed value so these are the output results 90 percent of people cannot identify that this is AI generated picture yes this tool is based on stable diffusion with some LoRa models but it saves a lot of time on installing stable diffusion and LoRa models that is a complicated process and it also requires a high-end GPU to run all of these models so that's how you guys can achieve photorealistic results from free AI image generator and if you guys find this video helpful make sure to subscribe planet AI because I always try to portray a unique content in front of you so that's all from this video and see you guys in the next one